leaders welcome to my channel my name is Emma and I make skincare products and here on my channel I teach you how to make skincare products and provide free formulas every single week so this week I'm making a milky chamomile facial serum I have formulated this product to be hydrating moisturizing and soothing so for hydration I've used hyaluronic acid glycerin and propane dial for moisturization, I'm using camellia seed oil. And for soothing, I've used niacinamide, panthenol, allantoin, and two different kinds of chamomile extract. Shockingly, I think that is all I have to say about this product, so let's go ahead and get into it. Starting with the water phase, this beaker contains 74.2 grams of distilled water, and to that I am adding 2 grams of glycerin, 5 grams of a 1% hyaluronic acid solution, two grams of propane dial. 2 grams of niacinamide, Increasing my strength when I remember. 1 gram of panthenol, Life can be hard. 0.3 grams of allantoin, to the top. and 0.1 grams of citric acid, that is our pH adjuster. It's going to bring the pH of the serum down just a little bit to the ideal pH range, and 0.1 grams of disodium EDTA, that is our collator, and it's going to help with preservation. And that is our water phase. Moving on to our oil phase, the first ingredient I'm adding to my beaker is 2 grams of glycerol stearate and PEG 100 stearate, and 0.3 grams of Sepamax Zen, 3 grams of Coco Caprolate Caprate, three grams of camellia seed oil, and one gram of silica microspheres. This is an ingredient that I've been using a lot in facial products. It has a tendency to blur imperfections, and it also adds incredible haptics to facial products. And that is our oil phase. So we have our two phases. I'm going to throw some aluminum foil on these beakers and put them in a double boiler for about 20 minutes until all of our solid ingredients have melted and all of our powders have dissolved in the water phase. So it's been about 20 minutes and as you can see all of the powders have dissolved in the water phase and the solid ingredients have melted in the oil phase with the exception of Sepamax Zen which is water soluble and silica microspheres which are insoluble. So I'm going to combine my phases and then blend. So I blended this for about three minutes. This particular emulsion does need quite a bit of blending because of how fluid it is. And then I hand stirred it for another additional couple of minutes. And now it is time to add our cool down ingredients. So I am adding two grams of chamomile extract, one gram of bisabolol, that is an oil soluble component of chamomile. 0.5 grams of liquid dermal plus that is our preservative and 0.5 grams of vitamin e that is our antioxidant So as you can hopefully see, the emulsion has gained some viscosity, but it's going to continue to thicken for the next 24 hours. So I'm actually going to put this away and I will be back tomorrow for packaging. 
will break away. So it is the next day and I'm not sure if you can tell in the video, but the emulsion has picked up just a little bit more viscosity. Not a lot, which is perfectly fine because this is going in a dropper bottle so we don't want it to get too thick. Most importantly, the emulsion has not split. And I mentioned that because it's such a fluid emulsion that there's always a concern for the emulsion becoming unstable and splitting. <laughs> So I wanted to talk about stability really quickly. As I already mentioned, the glycerol stearate and PEG100 stearate is very important in this product because it creates such stable emulsions. It is well known in the industry for being quote unquote bulletproof. So the emulsifier does a lot of the heavy lifting, but just as important is actually the process. So I don't know if you noticed, but I did use a different attachment today on my immersion blender. So I used this one, it's called the homogenizer attachment. And as you can see, it does have a lot more shear than this attachment, which is just the standard immersion blender attachment. That being said, I have made this product using just the standard immersion blender attachment and it has worked just fine. If you are using a standard immersion blender, which I'm assuming most people are, my only recommendation is to just blend thoroughly. That's actually one of the reasons why I use Sepimax Zen in this product because in my experience, it's more shear tolerant than other polymers. Remember myself. Let's move on to adding color. So chamomile is a type of daisy. So in that spirit, I wanted to make the serum yellow and white. I split the batch in half and I'm adding 0.5 grams of sea buckthorn berry oil to one half. <music> Moving on to packaging, I am using the square glass dropper bottle. So this is what the serum looks like. I was hoping to get more of a straight line in between the two layers, but I'm actually okay with how this turned out. Next time I might try filling it with a pipette. So I'm going to throw a label on this and then I will be back to do a swatch. <laughs> It feels incredibly hydrating and moisturizing on the skin, as well as very lightweight. It does not feel heavy at all. It absorbs very, very quickly, and it really does have a lot of slip from the use of glycerol stearate and PEG 100 stearate and Sepamax Zen. And most importantly, I find it to be very soothing thanks to the inclusion of chamomile and niacinamide, panthenol, and allantoin. I find it ideal, especially for under makeup and sunscreen because it's so lightweight. Sometimes I don't like wearing heavy moisturizers underneath makeup and sunscreen. And I find that this serum is perfect. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you found the video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to be posting videos weekly going forward. Next week, I think that I am making a sheet mask. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much again.